obviously the claim, I think the number one waiver claim of the week is going to be Alexander Madison. Uh, Dalvin, Dalvin Cook exited uh, the game with a groin area injury and then returned. Wait, but then hold exited. on, what? And then... Uh, Dalvin Cook got hurt? You didn't... Re- what? You, how what? are you... You're just hearing about this? I Live breaking oh, I'm, news. I'm so surprised. I can't... I can't believe he got hurt. I just... Oh, man. Who could have ever seen that one coming? That's... <laughs> Oh. You know what the worst part is? Is if you guys Man. go back and listen to any of our previous waiver shows, which we, you know, we've talked about several of these guys week after week. Alex has always said every show, oh, well, just waiting on Delvin Cook to get hurt. Just waiting on Del- Delvin Cook to get hurt. And here you go. Week six. I, I can't. I just can't. Wow. That's. Breaking news. Unbelievable. Alexander Madison had 20 rushes for 112 yards and then three receptions for another 24. Good for more than 15 plus points and half PPR. Um, However, uh, I believe Palacero came out today and said that the results of Dalvin's testing today show that it was a, a actually a very minor injury and that he should be back extremely soon. And so if he if Madison is available, I think he's really only a one week a one week rental because yep. Minnesota's schedule is at home against Atlanta, a bye, and then Green Bay. So I think you give Dalvin a couple weeks off to recover. He comes back for the division matchup against Green Bay, if it's as minor as what's being reported today. So Honestly, I wouldn't even break the bank for Madison if he was there unless you plan on holding him for the entire season. If you're in like a 10 team league and you don't have Dalvin, then unless you're planning on holding him, uh, holding Madison for the whole season, I wouldn't spend a ton of fab on him. I would only spend 10, 20% on Madison if he's a short term rental. If if you're the Dalvin manager 15 then I'm, yeah and then i yeah 15 20 is he's a one week top 15 back then they go to buy and then i think dalvin comes back so if you want a one week top 15 running back look if you're zero and five or one and four then maybe i'd be out here spending 30 bucks and go get yourself that top 15 back for a week and try and get a w yep. but it really should only be the desperate teams that are dropping some serious fab for Madison. If he's just a one week rental. Yeah. I'm super bummed that he is not available in any of the four leagues that I'm in, which means I'm playing in relatively good leagues. Unfortunately, I, um, and I don't even own him. Another bummer. I, uh, I, I I think you're right on. I, I think you have to discount him severely because theoretically, you know, Delvin's coming back and then, then you have to go, you have to go through a buy too. Um, and you, so yeah, I, hold I, you can't break the bank, but that's the thing is, is Delvin cook going to stay healthy even once he comes back? Yeah. So maybe it is, maybe it is worth spending money on Madison and keeping him on your bench. So when Delvin cook gets hurt again in a couple weeks, <laughs> because it's going to happen, because Dalvin Cook always gets hurt, then it it might be worth a little bit more just to just to hang on to him. If especially if you if you have like a, you know, we talked about some guys that, that you would think about dropping. As an example, J.K. Dobbins. You know, if if you have a J.K. Dobbins on your roster, um, it would make sense to drop him for Alexander Madison. At least you could have Madison on your bench. He gets a couple more carries than Dobbins does every week at this point. And he has a higher upside Ouch. on the back end uh, if Dalvin were to get hurt. Ouch. Um, yeah, I would drop Dobbins for Madison. Um, I would also drop Naheem Hines, who hasn't done anything since week one. Um, let's move on. Oh, don't should have should have saved your sauce. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you? Hit that subscribe button. I'll show you what it was.